Well, let me just welcome you all to this uh, ceremony and to uh, Simon Fraser University for those of you who are not members of our community. This is a um, totem pole raising in two parts. It's uh, our way of commemorating Liz's professional life in particular uh, to ensure that her legacy continues. Thanks everyone for coming today and um, allowing me to say a few words about Liz, my beloved sister. She knew about the totem pole. Uh, we went to Ferndale just a few days before she passed away. She was truly honored and grateful. I cannot think of a more beautiful gift as it marries together her RJ work here at SFU and in the community with her love of native culture and art. Best of all, Liz realized and hopes that the monument can instill a constant and growing awareness and interest in restorative justice among the faculty, visitors, and most importantly, all of our young and up and coming students. She lived what she preached, you know. She instilled amongst us her core values of uh, peace, social justice, and righteousness. She was really authentic, as you know. Um, her definition of family was broader than just parents, aunts, uncles, brothers. It was, as you know, she opened her doors to everyone. The door was always open. Cats, dogs, neighbors, friends, and most of all, people in need. Liz, Lizzie, we love you, and we will miss you, and your spirit will live on forever. Thank you. Well, I'd like to say a few words this morning as part of our program here today. Uh, before I begin, I'd just like to thank um, the Tsleil-Waututh, Musqueam, Squamish First Nations people for inviting us onto your traditional territory. I'd also like to say on behalf of the Correctional Service of Canada, staff, managers, and men of Ferndale Institution, thank you to the Tsleil-Waututh First Nations for donating this log so that our men could work alongside a master carver and under the guidance of our spiritual elder, Alex Paul, and prepare this totem pole on behalf of Liz Elliott. Today, we honor Liz Elliott. And for those of you who know Liz Elliott, it's very difficult to put into words and articulate her vision, her dream, and her legacy. In a few moments, though, you will see evidence of that inspiration that she's given to our men at Ferndale. You will hear from one of our men who was instrumental in carving this totem pole today. I'd just like to uh, read a little something on behalf of the men at Ferndale. And um, restorative justice, a universal journey. Just over a year ago, a number of men at Ferndale Institution had a strong desire to do something special for Liz Elliott. All of these men, in one form or another, knew Liz and had participated and interacted with her on a personal level. The impact of the powerful restorative justice vision that Liz held near and dear to her heart had a far-reaching impact of all her committed volunteers who mentored under her vision has forever changed the lives of many federal prisoners from coast to coast. Regardless of our social status, our temporary titles, or our ethnic backgrounds, we all, as humans, have a universal obligation towards one another to incorporate into our daily lives a piece of restorative justice. The men at Ferndale Institution collectively decided what better way to honor Liz than to carve a pole, something that could be seen, talked about, and would assist in carrying her vision for years to come. On a few occasions, the carvers asked Liz what, if anything, she would like to see on the pole. She resisted our inquiries, but was adamant about one thing, hummingbird. So it was decided. Liz is an eagle. Her vision soared high. Her eyes saw a clear goal. Her strength and determination unparalleled. Her wisdom and grace far-reaching. 
what better way than to wrap her into the powerful embrace of the majestic eagle. Above the eagle sits the tiny hummingbird, and in the bowl that is being held is water, water for the hummingbirds, which with a single drop and another and another can make a difference. This is what Liz believed. So as we honor and remember her here today, never forget we can all be hummingbirds and know in our hearts that a single drop of water you give today is water for Liz's visionary growth of restorative justice. You are the difference. May this poll in Liz's honor be your reminder of her vision. Thank you. That everything that we have, every comfort we have, it comes from our mother, the earth. So this song is to give thanks for that. And it's also to give thanks for the legacy and to the spirit of Liz Elliott. Mm -hmm. 